Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. And on the last video we ended up here doing the rotation of the pieces and right now we are going to do the movement to the left and to the right. So let's do this and basically we had our function key pressed. Now we need to do something when the user uh, presses the left arrow. Left arrow. And what we are going to do is that we are going to change the X position and we are going to decrease it with our box dimension. With this we are saying that each time the user presses the left arrow we are going to decrease 30 pixels. Remember that each box of the piece um, the size is 30 pixels so we are going to move always 30 pixels in order to do a kind of animation that is always the same and consistent. So let's do this with the right arrow but for the right we need to add box dimension in order the movement goes to the right. Let's see if this works. Okay, to the left is working and to the right as well. Right now as you can see I am able to go outside the canvas. We don't want that in our game. So we need to do a function in order to check if the piece could be colliding in order to do not let it and go outside the canvas. And before that we could do here and sorry we could do here something if the user presses the down arrow and we can apply more gravity in order to move faster. Let's see how this works. So we apply gravity and we go down faster. Perfect. So let's do the collide function. So basically we need to uh, to let the piece move if the user presses for example the left arrow and also the piece is not able to collide with the outside of the canvas with the borders. So let's do uh, a function in the pieces that we want to say if my piece can collide sorry so if my piece can collide let's say that not if my piece cannot collide we are going to let it move so we need to pass uh, as a parameter what is going to be our um, colliding function I mean what we want to say that is colliding because colliding is relative but we need to do it for our game so basically we want to say it that if a box of the piece just a, one box uh, doesn't matter which one the X position uh, minus no let's do first this one the right arrow because it's easier I think to explain and then the other one is just the opposite okay if my piece cannot collide we're going to say that if the box plus some box dimension I mean 30 pixels is equals than the width we are saying that the piece can collide let's do with this example for example if I am here sorry I need to comment this otherwise it won't work okay if we are here that box X position is less than the width so but if we are here this box X here plus the box dimension is higher than the width so the piece can collide so we need to do it before the piece collides so we're going to say my piece cannot collide and we need to do this function for the pieces in order to change it down here in the left arrow also if we, if we wanted to we could do it for the up and for the down but it's not necessary in this game so let's do that can collide function 
can collide and it's going to receive as a parameter the, coll the collision function as we are uh, using lambda expressions we don't need to create functions just for this we can use anonymous functions in order to reduce our code and make it simpler so doesn't matter which one the parameter is we can use the can collide function so basically we are going to say that a piece is colliding if one of the boxes um, satisfies this collision function so we need to we are going to say that a piece can collide if one or more boxes can collide based on this collision function so let's do this let's return the count of boxes that comp that satisfy this collision this collision function so we need to do a reduce function where we are going to the we're going to element this is the element and this is the account or the variable the variable we where we are adding all the the results so basically we need to concatenate in this array C the pieces that are not null right because remember that we have some pieces that are null so for each row we are going to filter the piece the boxes sorry that are different from null because we don't need it okay and when we have that we need to filter again for the ones that satisfy the collision function box collision the collision function box. okay as you can see we are passing the current box that we have we are going to check all the boxes in the piece and we are passing it to collision function if we go here we see that our function is needing is needed it is needing sorry a box so that's what we are going to be passing and we need to know how much of this uh, are satisfying this uh, this parameter so with this we are saying we are going to check it we are using the this that shape which is a bidimensional array and we are going we go to each row and filter the boxes that are not well the boxes the actually boxes and we this uh, we don't care about the null fields and then we filter all the boxes that satisfy the collision function and if that is higher than zero it it's mean that a box could be colliding so well as you can see this empty array is the the initial value for C and then we are just concatenating the ones that are uh, satisfying this collision function and let's do this let's save and let's see if this is working okay it's not working let's see if it's th throwing an error it says X is not defined let's see where it's happening it is in the can collide function okay in the reduce okay I'm going to check this Okay, I think 
the mistake was here because I named it element well here in order to be clear is a row it's easier <laughs> to understand okay as you can see now it's working perfect let's close this and right now we need to do the same but for the left arrow so what is going to change is the lambda function and let's see how we do this basically we could say also we need the box and right now what we need is that do not overpasses the zero in the x position right so let's do this we could say that the box x minus box dimension is equal to zero let's see if this works okay as you can see it is working but not really well because right now I can't um, do it anymore and it's because let's see the code okay the box X for example in this case is probably 30 pixels minus 30 pixels that would be zero is equal to width okay yeah perfect what is happening is that we don't need this because we are saying that a box that X is equal to zero and for example this here is the X position it could be zero okay now it's working perfect and let's see what else we can do maybe we shouldn't use this so static we could use for example I don't know a beginning point beginning point and then if we want to change our beginning point our code is going to work the same and here let's change this zero for beginning point let's test this okay it's working as well and in these ways we don't compromise too much our code so uh, I think I'm going to stop here and uh, thanks for watching in the next video we are going to start with the actual game where all the pieces are combinating and, and getting into the canvas and also to program the collision between them so thanks for watching and stay tuned to solid code and bye